Hey guys, it's Don of the Next Three, and I just want to do a video of the specs of the BlackBerry Curve 8900. Uh, I've mentioned it in other videos, but I really haven't done a full run through of all the specs of the 8900, and I really, um, I kind of want to do a video about that. So this video is really going to be mainly about um, the tech, the tech specs of the 8900. Okay, first of all, we're gonna work on the camera here. The camera is a uh, has flash built in and it's 3.2 megapixel and that's really good it can take pictures I think up to about uh, 2500 by actually let's see for sure here it can take picture sizes uh, as resolutions up to uh, 2048 by 1536 so that's that's really good um, picture quality super fine let's see um, color effect you have three different color effects uh, that's black and white Cepheia and normal so there we go I would also like to add that the camera has a 2x uh, digital zoom it has built-in Wi-Fi it also has GPS um, it has an enhanced media player which which means you can play mp4 and mp3 uh, it has video recording of course um, it has Blackberry maps built in I'll show you that here's Blackberry maps here's the US you can zoom in all the way let's see here See, actually, it's already um, refreshed, so it's very fast. Zoom in on some random city here. Here's Kansas City. So, there you go. You already got the highways pretty instant, and this is running on edge, and I've got actually quite a bad signal right now. But back to the tech specs here. Um, let's see. Its height is 4.29 inches, 109 millimeters. Its width is 2.36 uh, and 60 millimeters. That's its width. The depth is point five three inches and this is a really thin and sleek phone I'll show you here see here this is my finger and compared to the phone it has a voice um, control here the talk time of the phone is about 5.5 hours the standby time is um, 15 days and this is the rim specs so expect a little bit less than that because the rim specs are usually um, the, we usually manufacture specs are usually higher than what you actually get to make it seem a little bit better. It's really clear display runs at 480 by 360 color display. The TFT LCD display, so that's really good. It supports over 65,000 colors and the screen size is about 2.44 inches. Okay, the um, supported video formats are DivX, XVID, MP4, and um, WMV3 and that's um, Windows Movie um, probably Windows Video the audio format is uh, 3GP WAV MIDI MIDI uh, AMR NB and some of the really common ones are MP3 AAC and uh, WMA so it also has Bluetooth 2.0 and that's really a must for any smartphone now. I don't think there are any smartphones that don't have Bluetooth. Uh, it has a video camera and it records video in the normal is 240 by 180 and it can record also in MMS by uh, 176 by 144 so that's pretty good. It has GPS and AGPS which is uh, AGPS is assisted GPS which is slightly more uh, complex and is a little bit more accurate than GPS. Wi-Fi is 102.11b and G does not have N because actually I don't think this phone would even support N because of the fact that um, N is a really newer type of Wi-Fi and it's uh, probably significantly faster than B and G but B and G is really all you need for a phone it's a browser here we'll take a look at this there's a Blackberry browser here okay we're gonna go to let's say Google see how fast this comes up Okay, we have Google here. It comes up pretty fast, and um, and it's the regular internet. You can uh, it's it is not mobile internet. You can, well, it brings up some WAP sites if it's really um, memory demanding, but it, mostly you're running on um, www regular HTTP sites and HTML. This is a quad band phone, so it runs on uh, North America 850 megahertz GSM slash GPRS. North America, uh, 1900 megahertz, 
and GSM slash GPRS, and it also runs on some Europe and Asia um, different GSM and um, GPRS networks. It of course has a 35 key backlit QWERTY keyboard and this is light sensitive as most phones are now though actually the backlight of the actual LCD is light sensitive and that's not an extremely common thing but it's uh, becoming more of the norm. It has some dedicated keys and these keys are send and mute lock and the VAD user customizable uh, two stage camera and volume and zoom buttons. Of course it has the famed uh, Blackberry email. It also has um, the Microsoft, well not Microsoft, but Blackberry Word uh, and Excel document um, XLS and PPTP. That's PowerPoint, Excel, and um, Word for Blackberry. You have to actually, actually you have to buy the um, Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, though it comes with a free 30-day trial, but if you have, if you're using the um, regular mode that you don't buy in the free mode, you can only view, you cannot edit or create uh, files. Uh, I'm also going to include a video taken by this phone just to see the quality and I'll also include a picture and this will come up right now. And this is the test video for the BlackBerry Curve 8900. This is the quality in 240 by 180. And this is the SanDisk Ultra 2 compact flash card I use to record my regular videos on when I'm not using this phone to record the videos. Is the quality. This is with ample lighting. And this is without ample lighting. And actually, it's a little bit better without the um, extreme lighting there. And I'll here, I'll go ahead and turn the uh, phone light on while, because you can do that while you're recording a video. And here it is with the phone light on. So, a little bright. It uses the flash just as a uh, light for the uh, video camera. So that's pretty good. I'd also like to add the uh, speed of the processor and the amount of RAM it has. Uh, the 8900 comes with a um, 256 megabytes of RAM and a 512 megahertz processor. So that's um, really damn good for a phone. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Donovan X3.